before you quit, don't quit. Just try it, try, keep trying other things. It's a special feeling when, you, when you're one of the few who helped start the street. He pushed me, and he, he made me the best I could be, and, and then some. It's just wonderful, absolutely wonderful, because I am seeing people that I may not have seen for 30, 40, even 50 years. This whole event that we're putting on here at the Crown Plaza Hotel uh, has been, been inspired by Bill and Evelyn Lewis. Bill Lewis is no longer with us. And Evelyn Lewis, they came to Willenboro back in 1962. And when they came down here in 1962, they already had a background of track and field. Uh, Mrs. Evelyn Lewis, she was a former Pan American Games 1951 and also qualified for the 1952 Olympics. So when she came down here, she came down here with her family and, and Bill, and their kids were small at that time. And so when they, when they came down here, they saw that there was no track programs for the females. You know, my parents came from Alabama, and um, my older brothers were baptized by Martin Luther King, they were raised in the um, civil rights movement and my mom decided at one point because her sisters uh, had moved to Willingboro, uh, they were teachers in the school system here. Um, my uncles were at uh, Fort Dix and McGuire Air Force Base. Uh, my mom came up and visited one day and um, she was offered a teaching position and in fact um, she was the first in her family to go to college and my father was the first in his family to go to college and so she followed her sisters up and got a job and she went back to Alabama and she said I'm back and my kids up and we're moving. I'll never forget, I, I would run and I'd be at the end of my race ready to give up that last hundred yards and he would be there, fight the pain. You need to fight the pain. That, those were his, the three words I remember more than anything. And I would fight it and I would do good and I would win. Every time he would be there yelling at me, it made me so strong, it made me push because not only would I do it for myself, I would do it for him. They really gave their lives, my father already and my mother continued to the community and it was a great message for us growing up and, and, and it's just an honor for me to, to have the, you know have talent that I can stand on that and, and the fact that they gave so many people to start is, is, I think it's what the guys call it. This is great. I mean this is a long time coming because if you if you look back over all the success of the William Bro sports program the most consistent program in Willingboro is a track and field program, I mean, by far. So uh, this is great that, you know, they took the time to recognize the achievement of the, of the Willingboro program, both on the high school level and the Willingboro track club level. It's really good because, I mean, there's certain people like uh, Gary Jankowski, who's uh, was a coach, a high school coach. I hadn't seen him probably in 35 years. You know, so it's been a very long time, and it's, it's good to see people. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. As soon as I leave this, I'm going to get jump back in there, and there's a few other people I want to catch up on. What is the nostalgic like? You know, does it bring back memories? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and the thing about it is, it's not about running. You know, you don't think about the actual meets, and you know, we'll talk about it and, and joke and and have healthy conversations about which team was better. And but we talk about the bus trips and practicing and and just all the fun stuff that we had off the track and going to the track meets and things like that. So it's always great to get around the guys. Well, it's always good to come back and, uh, you know, revisit uh, the past because, you know, the past for most of us is something that defines our future. And uh, to come back and, and revisit this and see some of the old friends and also spend time with your family uh, kind of brings back some old memories, uh, but it also reinforces, you know, kind of really First started teaching over at Lenape High School for two, and then I went over to uh, John F. Kennedy High School, and I worked a year, two years as an assistant. In my other years, I was the head track coach uh, for the spring team, and also uh, Coach Paul Minori, the coach over at Willingboro. Uh, we were working together and we were able to get a track team to run winter track. I was the assistant coach under Gary Jankowski in track because I ran track in college also. And in 1975, when they opened up Willingboro High School, 
Uh, they needed a gymnastics coach and a track coach, and I said, oh, I don't want to do that. I like Kennedy. It's a fun place to teach. But the athletic director, Dick Luttrell, said, I, I really need you to coach, start the track program and do the gymnastics program. So I moved to Willingboro in 1975, and um, it was a year when we had no seniors. It was uh, all sophomores and juniors, and it was our first year of track. And um, I stayed there until 1986 as the head track coach, and we were three and seven the first year, and uh, we didn't lose a dual meet after that for the next 10 years. So it was really a, a, a fun program, and um, I was there for 100 dual meet wins in a row, and then I retired. I'll never forget it. Coach Rucker was in, I was in Memorial, ninth grade, Coach Rucker walk to the hall, I'm in history class, he says, hurdler, make your hurdle. I said, what? Came out there, he said, we have to run three steps in between these hurdles. I said, what? <laughs> and that was it, you know, so that's how I actually got into track. so glad I went to Houston and it ended up going around the world because I saw other things and it expanded my horizon. So even though you're growing up in this, whatever community you're in and you enjoy it, try to go as far away as you can with the chances you have because that's going to change your life in a way that you can never imagine and you'll always be able to come back to your community. But you see the rest of the world, it makes everything so much better. keep in touch now obviously because we're coming back for this this cool reunion but I think you know we all have a really um, soft part in our heart for the club and what it meant to us and um, in the fact that it's still going strong and hopefully it'll mean just as much to some of the kids that are competing today
entertainment.